We're here at the CCA workbench, Dave, and yes, you know, sir. looking at the power poles, I just wonder what we did before power poles. We got a lot of mud in our boat by pulling anchors over. That's what I did. Or, you know, <laughs> trying to stake out with a graphite push pole was yeah, just so yeah. painful. I wonder how many, how many times you tied off that pole and then watched your rope come off of it. And have to <laughs> Early on, a lot of times. <laughs> yep. All right, we're going to start out here. We Our first product is the Akuma uh, SC line of boat rods it's called SC because they use a spiral carbon technology mm -hmm. and if you look real close you look inside there there's a little spiral of carbon really right carbon fiber down there a dual helix wrap with over 6,000 strands of carbon fiber inside that so it's incredibly strong really really lightweight uh, it's got all Fuji guides on there the special tangle free K guides and a Fuji reel seat the EGFA foam, um, EVA foam handles uh, on the front and back. You know, this is one thing really too good that deal. I like. Instead of this being metal, yeah, it feels like it's some type of hard Delrin. plastic, like Delrin. Yeah, and this is not. This is a lot belly friendly. A lot oh, more yeah. belly friendly. Yeah, for sure. And and I tell you what, having a gimbal also it means a lot if you got a decent fish on. Yeah. And with a good belt and a good gimbal, you can do a lot of work. But most spinning rods, yeah. when you go to stick them in a rod holder, don't have a gimbal. Correct. So that's the reels flopping yep. when yep. it's rough. I'll, I always try to get a gimbal on mine. And if good I don't, work, Akuma. Yep, very this is good the stuff. same series of rods that I've been using for the sail fishing and you know doing all my big tarpon fishing. I got you. Yeah. Well, here we got some Starbright products. We got the Extreme Clean and the Extreme Protected. Now that Extreme Cleaner, it can be used on almost any surface. It's a good cleaner and degreaser. Removes dirt, grime, greasy stains. Cleans vinyl, fiberglass, plastic, rubber, any painted surface. You know, you can clean just about anything with it. And the uh, protectant is perfect for you know your, all your cushions and stuff. It provides a great UV protection, interior and exterior. You know, you spray down the cushions in your salon and stuff. The sun shining through can damage all that soft goods and the Extreme Protectant works really good on that too. Fight leather even, it keeps stuff from drying out. You know, you can't beat either one of those products. And it, don't, it doesn't leave, when you put that protectant on it, it doesn't leave this nasty oily residue. It's static free, so nothing clings to it. You know, between the bugs trailering and yeah. getting on your cushions, <laughs> exactly. you know, I, on your power poles early in the morning, uh, I use this for the cleaning and then for the sunscreen, getting the sunscreen off the seats, my leather seats yeah. and my Nissan. Yeah. Man, it just is such a perfect combination yep. to keep everything looking fresh. They work good. Yeah, man. All right, next we have the X-Wrap from uh, Rapala. These are Magnum dive baits. This is, the, this is the Magnum 40, and the 40 stands for 40 feet. You know, it's got a huge lip on it, and it'll get down. And not only will it get down deep, but it'll, it can go fast. You know, a lot of these plugs, you got to worry about them rolling over and kicking out on you if you get too fast. These will probably eventually do it, but you can, you probably got to go really darn fast to get one of these things to roll over. Uh, it's got UV additives to it. If you want to, you can get the ones with the UV additives, which I would do. And it's also got these awesome VMC hooks on there. It's yeah. really super strong. The thing I like, Dave, is I control them between 8 and 10 knots. And a lot of yeah. lip plugs, you can't do that. Right. With. Well, this this is the VMC. You're gonna do this VMC. This is called a probe, and these are kind of like these are, you know, these are the net kind of like the Ned rigs I was talking about a while ago. These come in sixteenths and thirty seconds uh, ounce, and they're really good for panfish. But they, you'd be surprised the amount of bass you can catch on little tiny things like that. When the bass are, you know, up there eating little fry and, and tiny minnows, they will pile on those things. And you, all you got to do is drop them down into the school of, of minnows and they will come through. And I've caught five, six pound bass on little tiny things just like that. And regularly, I mean, it's, it's unreal. When I've started using this little tiny stuff, the bass I've been catching on. So Dave, on. when you're using this fine, thin wire mm -hmm. hooks, the, and obviously braid, you know, we don't have well, any Well, these, these are special. These are VMC. They got an extra wide gap, actually, the, for, for these. have a 5% wider gap than a than a 4 aught normally would for these size. So. so do you need to back off on the drag to keep, you know? Eh, yeah, well, I'm never, I'm never, well, I'm never using more than probably 5 pounds of drag anyway. So that hook will probably hold 5 pounds of drag without straightening out. 
That's what I. That's what I always figure. If if I can pull whatever drag I have and not straighten the hook out, that's what I said. Well, I don't think five pounds of drag would ever straighten the two of us out. But no. you know what, Bree, there's always hope. <laughs> nope, I don't think so. No hope for you guys over there.